<clears throat> morning, 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 TBP Nation. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Let's get it. Let's get it, man. What's happening this morning? Salute, 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 TBP Nation. Salute, man. Salute, salute. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Blessings, 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 blessings. Melva this morning. Jonathan Knapp, first one in YouTube this morning. Blessings, man. Blessings, 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 TDP Nation. What's happening? Brother Harlem is up this morning out there in Harlem representing Harlem chapter TBP. Salute 21 Beth. Salute this morning. What up, King? College Point Sebo always in the ring. Big No Mercy Percy Funky Road King from Philly, baby. PJ salute this morning. Darius salute this morning. Free Munchy, free Jerome, free Bo Billy, free Peanut. KW this morning, what up? Fresno up in here, man. Down there, Den. Got my nephew PJ, got that power up in here. Was it a guy like Charleston White in prison? Uh, uh, I don't think you I don't think you can uh, I don't think you can say the things Charleston said on a daily day basis in prison, man, and uh you know <laughs> expect to survive. Or get out, because if you only way you're gonna survive, you want it to be, you know, sending some people to the upper room or something, which is gonna be going backwards. So Nah, I don't think I met nobody like that. I met him out here in real life, though. You know, he not like that in real life. Well, he wasn't like that around me. That's all I can say. He wasn't like that around me in real life. <laughs> yeah, at first, he couldn't. It'd be hard to survive up in there like that, champ. Kind of hard out here, you know. <laughs> but definitely hard to survive in there like that, champ. You, you are... You are accountable for everything you say in prison, brother. Every word, every syllable, every uh thing you utter. Dreadhead cast salute this morning, Queen. Get that Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> Y'all got that Dunkin' Donuts this morning. Y'all know I got that good old folders in my cup. Okay, OJ cat ass. Okay, okay. I got a few more of them in my bag. Mm -hmm. What y'all got going on this morning, man? Oh, uh, I see. Oh, uh, I see my. Oh, uh, oh, I can see myself this morning on YouTube. Y'all remember? I couldn't see myself yesterday the whole lot. I see y'all. Uh, it's kind of strange, man. It got me. I don't know what's going on. The video last night. Did y'all like the video? It won't. It ain't do too bad. The numbers is that still ain't got back to what we normally used to do. But the live last night had more. The live last night had the numbers that our video usually do. So that was kind of peculiar. So I don't know what's going on with that, man. But uh, shout out to everybody who was in the live. You know. Yeah, shout out to everybody who's in the live. I woke up this morning, I looked at the live, the numbers was thought they was the video. But the live's numbers did better than the video last night. Have I seen people fight in prison over Tupac versus Biggie or LeBron versus Jordan? Oh, uh, absolutely. Grown men. <laughs> Grown men. Yeah, yeah. Grown men, PJ. Yeah. Grown men and pull that Bethlehem out too. Grown men. 
dedicated to work ducking them hooks. CJ Legend, that's what's happening. Duck them hooks, man. They out there, man. Good God Almighty, is they out there? You bluff dude with some size. <laughs> Hey, hey, Simo, hey, Simo, <laughs> hey, Simo, the name of the game is survival. <laughs> Only strong survive, man, and the smart, and the smart. Hey, Simo, I thought that joker had that thing, man, and he was a big old dude. He was a big one, man. He was a big one. So you caught between the rock and the hard place, man. You know what I'm saying? You got you to gotta think fast, man. You got to think fast. And what I know is, don't nobody want that Bethlehem up in them, dog. I know that. I know that it's just as sure as I know my name. So even if you got one, you still don't want you don't want to get hit. So hey, hey man, you gotta be doing hey. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta fake it, man. Sometimes you gotta hey, you gotta put something on the joke of mind and make them say, hey man, what's up? School, what up? School, you see that joke last night? You didn't watch that video school last night, man. Hey, yeah, I thought I thought that joke had that Bethlehem up in that cell. Boy, I had to act like I had one too. I was I ain't had nine. Had that some sausage wrapped up though. He ain't know what was in there. He ain't won't find out neither. Yeah, he ain't won't find out neither. Who was the best rapper you ever seen in prison? Oh, uh, best rapper I ever seen in prison. Shoot, shoot. He on, he on, he he on my IG right now. PJ, go look him up. His name is Universal School. My little homie. His name is Universal School. He on, he he on iClouds, IG, and everything. Go look him up, uh, PJ. He he on live right now with in IG. Nikki B, what's up, Joe? Yeah. Yeah, go look him up, PJ. Yeah, young school spit that fire. And he dedicated. I seen him put that work in in the penitentiary. And then he out here doing his thing. Mess with Robin Jokers in there, man. You got some talented dudes in there, man. Real, real talented dudes, man. And and I love it when they come out here and put their talented work. Squeeze cheese would have kept Bama off you too. Hey, look, anything, anything that you could have shaped or formed, like, like, like it was, you know what I'm saying? Like it was that Bethlehem. Oh, it'll put something on the joke of mine. And then you, and then you, and then he knowing me, he's seeing the aggression. He ain't really know me because he's coming in there, but he's seeing the aggression. He's seeing how I'm coming at him. So he don't know. And in his mind, he said, oh, this joke getting ready to put that. Yeah, yeah, I was. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, hey, all I had to do if he would have charged me was get out the cell. Because it can't be in the cell like that with a joke got that, that Bethlehem down on you. And he a big dude, cell small. You ain't got no room to maneuver. It's a, it's a, it's, if he ain't faking, it's a guaranteed chance you're going you, you gonna to get hit. You know what I'm saying? If you get hit. It ain't no telling what can happen. I seen dudes get hit, man, a little bit, lose their life. I seen dudes get hit 18, 17, 19 times and live. So those are the odds you want to play with. They, them ain't things you want to take a chance on. So uh, I would have got out of the cell for sure. Now, if he really had it, I probably would got hit but probably one time at best. Katie, funny AF, salute this morning, Queen. Curl, salute this morning. Yeah, so yeah, I had to, uh, yeah, I had to think fast. I know one thing was for certain, I won't go into sleep with him in that cell. Not near another night. I don't care how it went down, but it was going to go down. Won't go into sleep in there. Go to sleep with somebody in there, and they got a weapon, and they all beefing. You might not wake up, though. Do OG show mercy to teenagers in prison? Bang. I think they should. Well, <clears throat> PJ, nephew, 
I am glad that you are not going to ever find out. You are not going to never be a youngin' to go to prison. I am super glad of that because just because you think they should, I am here to assure you, to guarantee you, they do not. <laughs> they absolutely, positively do not. And they do not care nothing about you, champ. If anything, they're going to take advantage of a teenager. So, yeah, it ain't no mercy in prison, no, PJ. It ain't none of that. That's a foreign word in prison. You might well be talking Chinese. Yeah, it ain't none of that in there. If you go in there and say mercy, people gonna thank you from a foreign country. I think you should show mercy too, PJ. Well, both of y'all need to get on the uh, the board of, uh, of Department of Corrections because they do not agree with you. They do not agree that you should show mercy in there. I, I, I think mercy should be on this earth in, in most situations, but I can't, I can't, uh, I don't, I can't think for everybody. It ain't none in there. I, I spent 33 years in there. If it's in there, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. I didn't run across it during my travels. Yeah, it ain't got no mercy, bro. It ain't got none of that. It's called survival by any means necessary. And if that means crossing you out, Xing you out, uh, man. That's what that's 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 the uh, that's the order of business. The first thing they're gonna tell you is if you're a teenager, and that is, you should stay at home. You should stay in school. Same thing I'm telling you right now. That's what they're gonna tell you in there. But they just a kid. But they not though, PJ. You're not a kid when you're in prison. You're not because you don't put yourself. In grown folks' territory, you're not going to be treated like a kid. You're not going to be looked at like a kid. And it ain't nobody going to care that you're young. They're not going to care, bro. I promise you they will not. You can cry. You can. Oh, it, it will make no difference in there. So don't get yourself in a position to be in there. Because they ain't going to be playing with you, man. And they ain't gonna care nothing about where you come from, what you've been through, how little you is, how young you is, how you just messed up, made one mistake. They do not care. I can assure you of that. Sad but true. Unfortunate but facts. That's just what it is. <clears throat> I promise you, they're gonna tell you, you should have stayed at home, should have stayed in school. That's about all the mercy you're going to get. You might run across somebody that might want to, you know, uh, you know, take up your battles or whatever, but then you got to be cautious of that. He, he might be wanting to do it for all time, ulterior motives, but he could be just a good dude. But you got to ask yourself, how many people are going to be willing to put their freedom, their life on the line for you? Because you're in the same position they in. They still fighting for their freedom. They still hoping and praying one day that they're going to get back out. So you got to ask yourself, are they willing to risk all of that for you? And they don't even know you just because you're young, just because they feel sorry for you? Do you think they feel sorry for their self? Do you think they feel sorry for their family and what they put their family through? They got to risk all of that to protect you. See what I'm saying? It's, it's a rock and a hard place, champ. It's a rock and a hard place. That sounds kind of vicious. It is vicious. It is vicious. It don't sound vicious. It is vicious. And it's um, it's cold-blooded. It's cold-blooded, man. But it's facts, though. It's facts, man. That's why, I t that's why I get on here every day. That's why I make videos every day. So a young person like you can understand that. And once you understand it, you need to tell some other youngest that you mess with to understand it. This is what I be trying to tell you about being in gangs and being out there thugging and being out there telling them a ride for my brother. And all. It's not going to work, bro. It's not going to work when you get on that other side. You're by yourself. And it's a vicious life, man. I'd rather be at home with my girl eating fruit snacks and drinking lemonade. That's it. That, <laughs> that, <laughs> nephew. 
<clears throat> that's what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to tell you. That's what I'm trying to tell you, nephew. They got, bro, they got 30, 40, 50, 60 year old men in there who want to do what you just said. That's what they want to do. <clears throat> but they can't do it. They can't do it because they cross that line and then they on the other side. You out here. You got to stay out here. That's a, hey, <laughs> that's, that's the wisest thing that you say. <laughs> Drink your lemonade, champ. <laughs> Drink your lemonade, champ. Cheer with your girlfriend, man. Leave them thugs alone, man. Stay in your books, man. Do something with your life, man, where you're going to be happy and you're going to be out here. You know, chill it. Yeah. Instead of in there fighting every day and stressing and not knowing what, what's going to happen in 10 minutes, five minutes, 10 seconds. Yeah, live your life, champ. <clears throat> DA, on my way to McDonald's, do you want anything? Yeah, give me that uh, steak and egg uh, bagel, dog. Give me that steak and egg bagel. Yeah. Let me get that steak and egg bagel from Mickey D's in the morning. Yeah, man, stay at home, man. Drink some lemonade and chill with your girl. You know what I'm saying, man? Okay, nephew, man. School bus come to go to school, man. Have a good day at school, man. Learn one thing, man. Learn one thing today in school. One thing that's going to get you closer to your goals, closer to where you want to be. Appreciate you, nephew. 17 years old, man. 17, man. Lord, have mercy. And they got him in there, too. 17 years old. And he ain't showing them no mercy. Not one iota, not one bit. Yeah. Um. The weekly raffle. It is jumping for two people. You got 50, you got 50, 50, 50 percent chance of winning this this week. You know who you are. I ain't gonna tell you who you are. And I ain't gonna go crazy. Trying to mess your hustle up, trying to get somebody else to jump in here and mess your ass up. Cause you must want it. And they must don't. Yeah, you must want it and they must don't. So it is what it is. One thing for certain, two things for sure. Come Saturday morning. We're going to have a winner, winner, chicken dinner. And I'm going to send this out to whoever got in it and whoever win it. Yeah, you can lay flat and believe that. So y'all ain't want this original classic, Living Life Out of Life podcast, huh? Y'all ain't want this? Did I want to Missy Elliott uh, street street jump? Did I was with Trey Songz, with Pusha T, with? Y'all ain't want it? Well, let me tell you something. Two people want it. <laughs> Two people want it. If all, nah, I can't do that. I was getting ready to say, if don't nobody else get in there but y'all two and y'all win, I sent one and one, but I can't do that because y'all paid for both of them. Y'all go win both of them, whoever win. But uh, yeah, I ain't mad at you. Do your thing. Do your thing. Do your thing, man. Cash out if you want it. If you don't, I ain't trying to mess them two people hustle up. So I ain't going to do no whole lot of promoting. They went in it, they went in it to win it. Mm-hmm. Everybody else? Um, do I send the rest of that stuff off? I think I did, yeah. I think I did. I think I did, man. Nigga B, <laughs> nigga B, they might, they might ban you. <laughs> They might ban you, Joe. They might do you like they did me with the crap games, man, and the prison tension, man. They don't want me to get in because I always win. You know what I'm saying? But I be letting them know I'm in it to win it. Yeah, they might ban you, Nick. <laughs> look at, look at Journey. Journey said, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. <laughs> hey, Journey. <laughs> You you remind me of my mama when you said that, Mama Pam. That's what Mama Pam to say when she emphatic about something. Hey, well, no ma'am. No, no, no ma'am. 
Mm-mm, no, no ma'am. <laughs> that's that's what my pal right there. My pal said no ma'am. My pal said no ma'am so much he be saying the dudes. <laughs> Said the dudes, and then she had to switch it up. <laughs> oh, well, no, sir. But yeah, but she said, because it's so it's so natural for it. No ma'am. No ma'am. She let it roll off her tongue, uh, Jonathan Knapp. No ma'am. If she disagree, that no ma'am coming out. Yeah, shout out to Mama Pound, uh, B Mo Kurt. Shout out to B Mo, man. <clears throat> Big love to B Mo, you know, for that. The, the, the people that was in that uh, unfortunate incident with the bridge, man. We're going to pray for them. You know, so uh, hopefully everybody turn out okay, man, and pray for their families, man. That's a crazy situation. Crazy situation. Scary situation. Scary, man. You just, in your mind, you have to think, I don't know, that's just me. That's how I think. But in your mind, you be like, man, what if you was on that bridge, man? Do you imagine with your heart? Whew, man, that's just a hard, horrifying situation, man. Banky, the hoodie. You have on, um, is it in your merch? Oh, yeah. Funny you should mention that, person. New merch alert. New merch alert. This is going to be on some of the new merch. This is going to be on some of the new merch coming out. Yeah, I'm putting together a joint now where I'm going to have a, whatever you call it, a commercial or something out where y'all going to see all the new merch i going to be putting out this year and the prices and the way to order and everything. And this is going to be part of the new merch alert. You see that, don't you? 33 years to get back. Yeah, it took 33 years to get back. Yeah, the hard way, long way. Yeah, in this TBP. Yeah, this that TBP. You see that little good old terry cloth on there? Ooh, Lord. You see that little terry cloth on there? Yeah, if you're going to fill it out like this, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be on there. It's going to be on there. You want to come and get it because i like to see you with it. Yeah, I got some new designs coming out. I'm working on some new designs to put out. Some different products, uh, you know. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see. I don't want to talk too fast, and you know what I'm saying without. But I'm working on some things, man. Y'all hold on for a minute. I'm working on some things. So uh, yeah, it's coming. It's coming, man. It's coming. My African brother in here, my warrior, my my in shape brother, my motivation, motivational, uh, inspirational. King over there is in the building, Sutumali. Salute this morning, King. Appreciate you. Hope all is well. Hope all is well. I rock with that head in the hoodie. Okay, Percy, I want to see you with it then. Represent it out there in Philly. It's coming. And I got the shirt to go with this. I got the shirt to go with this because I ain't got the hat to go with this yet. But I got the shirt to go with this 33 years to get back, man. Yeah, to get back to TVP. You understand? And push this P. Yeah, for sure. Okay, okay, okay. Just the best salute this morning, Queen. Mm hmm. I love how PJ whole conversation has changed since he first joined. Ain't that something? Ain't that something, Johnny? You peep that too? I mean, yeah, yeah. We got them youngins up in here, man. That's what we want. <clears throat> Put that positive energy in. Okay, we got Jeff Borky in here this morning. Salute this morning, nephew. Coming straight in. You coming in hot, Jeff Boy. Coming in hot. If Sonny Liston was prison, do you think inmates would try to get some of Sonny Liston's money like you think they would do to Diddy in prison. Sonny Liston ain't had no money. Sonny Liston came out of prison. Jim, go research Sonny Liston. Ain't nobody will not mess with Sonny Liston in prison where he was from. Sonny Liston came out of prison. Sonny Liston was in prison before he started boxing. They got Sonny out of prison to box, and he just became the heavyweight champion of the world. But Sonny Liston came out of prison. He already was in prison. That's how they found out he was a knockout artist. <laughs> yeah, you know, because this world is all about capital, uh, nephew. 
It's all about capital. It's all about making money, how much you can make it, who you can make it for. So they saw Sonny in prison and they said, oh, yeah, he's a thug. He's out here robbing people, doing this and beating people up and strong up. And he went to prison and he got in prison. And they started doing the same thing and beating people up and knocking people out. So then they said, somebody said, oh, well, we can make some money off of him. So they got him out of prison. They put him in the ring. Let him do his thing, and they made a whole lot of money, a whole lot of money, and Sonny made a whole lot of little money, and you know, yeah, that's how that went. That's how that went, nephew. So yeah, Sonny already been to prison. Shout out to TBP Nation from Lewis Walker. Appreciate you, champ. Storm Quiet salute this morning, Queen. Bucks 1318, what up? Yeah, man. I bet nobody was trying to get Mike Tyson's money in prison. Like they were same thing. <clears throat> same thing. See? Do you see do you see the, do you see the pattern? Do you see the pattern, Jeff Borky? If you got a talent that they, they, they can uh, exploit and make money off of, then somebody gonna try to help you. It's just a matter of whether or not you're gonna be willing to be helped. They went and got Tyson out of a boy's home. He was already had 15, 16, 17, 18 charges by the time he was 14, 15 years old. You know? So, in essence, this is, you know, what the moral of that story is, don't you, Jeff Boy? Do you know what the moral of that story is? Force versus choice. Never let somebody force you to do something that you can choose to do yourself. You understand me? Tyson could have did that himself. He could have got his life together. He could have honed his own talents. But he had to go the hard way. And then fortunately, somebody saw that he had talent and went and got him. But they more so eh, did it for themselves. You understand? It just happened to help him. But never put yourself in a position, man, where somebody can do something for you or will do something for you under conditions that you could just freely do for yourself. Yeah, that you can freely do for yourself. Yeah, they went and got Tyson out of that boy's home too. But think about all the other people that was in that situation that no one tried to help. Hmm, because they did not have a marketable talent. You understand? Yeah, but they needed help too. They needed guidance too. They needed, uh, you know, somebody to mentor them. Somebody to support them. Somebody to try to put some good knowledge in them. Ain't nobody coming to help you if you ain't got nothing to, to, to give back in return. Most of the time. Dirt Dog, what up? Am I lying, Dirt? Oh, Dirt Dog, no liar. Keep the fantasy high life fire. Jump, jump. Let me see you do this. I don't know nothing about ODB, man. Mm -hmm. Ro and Myra. Salute. If I ain't butchered that up. Dirt dog out there in Richmond with my own boy, man. In Richmond, man. Where big song at? Where are uh, Uncle Nephew's kitchen at? Uncle Rod's kitchen, where he at? Yes, I'm on IG and uh, I'm on IG and YouTube. <laughs> yeah, TA2, don't know nothing about no ODB. They don't know nothing about that. They don't know nothing about that. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Boogie, if in the Holy Field would thrash Chucky. <laughs> if he did, Chucky would put a uh, confusion holes in him. <laughs> yeah, he might thrash him, but he is probably be his last thrash. He won't be waterproof no more. He had too many holes in him after that. Yeah, certain dudes in prison, man. It's just certain dudes. No one, no one. Don't ever get this twisted. I'm trying to tell you. It's no one. Not, not just in prison, in real life. It's no one uh, unbeatable, though. That's just, that's a, uh, that just sounds good. It's a cliche. 
but you do have people that will not accept a beating. You dig what I'm saying? Follow me now. There's no one unbeatable, but there are plenty of people that will not accept being beat. You get my drill? See what I'm saying? No one unbeatable, people who don't accept getting beat. So this person beat this person, right? And go back. This person not going to accept it. He probably going to come back and going to do something to you 10 times worse than that beating that he took. You understand? So then you ask yourself, did they really lose or did they win? Or did both of them lose? What I tell y'all prison is lose, lose. You see what I'm saying? But you got certain people ain't going to accept whoopers. They just not going to do it. It's against their religion. So if you can whoop them, I wouldn't advise you to whoop them because you're going to lose. You see what I'm saying? It's coming, Mr. Pright Town. It's coming. That merch coming. That TBP, that TBP merch train is coming. And it's going to keep on rolling. Mm, this thing called TBP going to keep on going. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Y'all going to stay on the train. That's the matter. That's the, that's the question. Is you going to stay on the train? Yeah. That's all the question is. I think Diddy might beat this case. I done told y'all. Y'all think I'm joking. You going to see. Told you last night in the, in, the, in, the, in the late live, man. Diddy got a plan, man. I was like, we don't know what it is, but I'm just going by the, the rhetoric, the talk, man. He got his lawyer out there talking, man, like he ain't worrying about nothing. He ain't worrying about nothing. Yeah, so when you got a lawyer out there talking like that, man, if you got the feds down on you and you ain't worrying about nothing, and you talking about, they don't overstep they bounds and y'all talking about pushing paperwork on them for excessive di man people ain't worrying about nothing that ain't how you talk when you in trouble that ain't how you talk when you nervous per <laughs> that ain't how you talk when you're on your way down nah he talking like he talking like he did it like i ain't do nothing yeah i'm trying to tell you now <laughs> First said, did it pull a Nino Brown? Well, if I'm going down, everybody going down. I'm gonna tell you, hey, look, it won't just me. It, it I, I ain't the man. You know who the real man is? It, you ain't no telling what name might come out of his mouth. Good God Almighty, woo wee! I can tell you this right now. If, you, if any of you out there got any thinking capabilities, <laughs> you know that what I'm saying. Man, Diddy got some secrets up there, man. Diddy got some secrets up there about some people we all know. Yeah, some top-notch uh, wild your brain secrets. Like, what? Who? You think Diddy ain't got that? Shh. FBI, 95% conviction rate. I know this, Justin Major. I know this. That's what I'm trying to tell you. But how many times you seen the FBI go with somebody and they don't get locked up? How many times you seen that? How many? I don't even know if I ever seen that. The FBI come and get you, man. The feds come and get you, man. You're going down, man, like the Titanic, man. Them people went and raided two of his houses, man. He ain't in no handcuffs. You seen that before? I ain't seen that before. I ain't seen it. But I've been gone, so it's a lot that I don't know. <laughs> you bet he do. <laughs> you bet he do, person. <laughs> Man, Diddy probably got an island somewhere with evidence and tapes and videos on everybody that done been involved in whatever the whatever the whatever. Shoot. Yeah. Diddy, Diddy know some stuff now. He might have did some stuff. I don't know. Allegedly. But I bet you he knows some stuff too. And I bet you he knows something about your favorite, 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 favorite. Yeah. <laughs> did he did, did know something about your favorite actor? <laughs> your favorite rapper? Your favorite celebrity? <laughs> did he know? Did he know? Better believe he do. 
that man been out there in that, you know, in that world, man, for what, 30, 30 plus years, man. 30 plus years, man. Did he know, man? And and guess what? They know did he know. Yeah, did he might know something about your favorite? Did he ain't just been in it, man, entertainment world? Politicians have been around, did he? Yeah. What's that? What's that place? Did he be playing at? Or uh, did he made that joint famous for black people? Ain't no black people ain't know nothing about that stuff. What's that? What's that joint he be at? What's that joint he always throw parties at every year? Did, ain't no black people up in there. <laughs> what the black people over there? Tell, did he start getting up in there? What's that place called? If you say it, I know what it is. I used to read this stuff, watch TV in prison. That's all you can do. You know, you stuck. That's all you can do. My, not Martha's Vineyard. It's another one. It's another one. It's another place where Diddy used to go, where that's when all the rich black people started getting money. Then they started going there because Diddy was going there. Diddy made the place popular for black people. The Hamptons? Is it the Hamptons? The Hamptons. It might be the Hamptons or something like that. Say some, some. I think it is the Hamptons. That's what it is. It's the Hamptons. Come on, dog. We know black people ain't know nothing about no Hampton. You know, you know, <laughs> you know, ain't nothing about that. <laughs> ain't nothing about that, man. <laughs> hey, 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 listen, man. It's the Hamptons. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Come on, dog. They had all the black people out there. They got a little bit of money. As soon as they got a little bit of money, what they was doing. You know what this world is. Monkey see, monkey do. Follow me, follow you. Did start doing it. Then black people, as soon as they started getting money, the other day was out there in the Hamptons. There's in the Hamptons, man, where the black, where the white folks was looking up, saying, "Hey, <laughs> what the what the? <laughs> did he did that? Did he did that, man?" <laughs> You remember, you remember Django, don't you? <laughs> Got to look at him saying, Who that on that neck? <laughs> People have moved out of the this messing with Diddy, man. Who that on that neck? Did it? It was did it? Did it was on that nag, man, up there in the Hamptons. Did it was on that nag up there in the Hamptons, man. See, man, I told y'all I ain't no good on. I can't put stuff together like that, man. I gotta get my brother up here. Look at that. See, put my new wheeling chair together. Look where I fell off. I ain't, I ain't, I must ain't do it, bro. You did. See there. See, this right here would have came in handy for me when I was when I pump faking like I had that Bethlehem. See, I'd put this in a, in, in a paper bag or something, had this junk. And also, look at this. See that? This is arm, um, this arm um, chair. This gets you shot by the police out here on the street. You know what I'm saying? This gets you shot. <laughs> look at that. This gets you shot, man. This gets you shot by the police. This is just the arm um, of a chair. It gets you shot by the police. Yeah, it gets you shot. Yeah, you get your dead, man. You get your dead right there. Yeah, and they, they brought them people out there to the Hamptons, man. Yeah, brought them out there. He said, this is this is how you live when you got some money. This is what you do. This is what you can do. Yeah, get on up out the hood. Yeah, come on over here. Put your white linen. Put your linen on. That lily. Put that lily white on. That lily white linen, you know, it just fall on your skin. Yeah, put that on. Come over here. Let me show you something. Yeah, going on the yacht. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's go skiing. Yeah, let's, uh, what's the other joint? Um, jet skiing, man. Regular skiing. Yeah, let's come on. Yeah. Did he did that, man? K Rock, salute this morning. I'm telling y'all, man. So you think he don't know nothing? And then you know how that happened. Then all them uh, rich Hampton folks start hanging out with Diddy too. Like, hmm, he's all right. Yeah, 
And then, next thing you know, they they love Diddy. They love him out there, man. They love him. So that's how you get into the other world, the politician world, the, the, the you know, the business world, the corporate world. All them people know who Diddy is, man. Diddy. So that means Diddy know a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to see. Mike T, Mr. P.O. Box. What's happening, my brother? Did he say, I ain't making no complaint? <laughs> he ain't making no complaint right now. I ain't in no handcuffs. I ain't making no complaint. The man ain't in no handcuffs, man. He ain't complaining. He ain't complaining. It's hard to get back motivated to work it after you stop. It is. It is lose walk. That's in anything. If you start working out, it's hard to get back. If you start working, it's hard to get back. That's probably why a lot of people, it's hard for them to work after that pandemic because they was getting their, them checks. But you got to do what you got to do. Big song in the building. Richmond up in here, Mike. <laughs> hey, hey, Mike T, he ain't want that some sauce. <laughs> he ain't want that some sauce. <laughs> Not that one. Nah, he ain't know what was up in that joint. See, see you put something on the joke of mine, if you hesitate for one second, he too late. He too late. If you at war, if you at war, if you hesitate, he who hesitates has lost. You lose. See, all I need to do is put something on his mind. He won't come back up in that cell thinking that I got that joint up in there. And he's saying I'm being aggressive with it. He won't come back up in there. You know why? Because when it comes down to a man who he has to choose between life and death, and it comes down to when a man got to choose between life and possible death. When it comes down to when a man got to choose between life and possible injury or harm, you can always count on 99.9.9% chance he going to choose life. Yeah, <laughs> he going to choose life. Yeah, so, yeah, so war is not just physical you know, psychological too, you know, yeah, mental warfare, you got to win mental, mental warfare for you to win physical warfare, you might slip up and win a couple physical warfares every now and then just because you might have physical capabilities, but it's going to come down to the greatest warrior is going to be a mental warrior, you understand me, he's going to be a thinker, yeah, he's going to be a thinker, like Achilles, you understand? D for the win, salute, salute this morning. You know a guy named you, man, that was in the system and he was supposed to train Pernell Whitaker and was you, man, nice with them boxing. You man, I know him emphatically. I know him, know him real, real, real well. Um, yeah, and can he can he use them hands? Uh, yes, indeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As they would say, <laughs> it's a bullfrog butt water tight. <laughs> then you man can fight. <laughs> Yeah, he can fight, though. I don't think he used to train Pernell. I think he used to train with Pernell uh, back in the day. Um, but, yeah, he can rumble, though. Yeah, he can rumble. He out here on the street. I haven't seen him since I've been out here. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, a, he's, he's, a, he's a rumbler, though. <laughs> yeah, gangster, too. <laughs> yeah. He like a Mack truck. Yeah, I know you, man. And shout out to you, man. Shout out to his brother, Milk, too. I know both of them. D. Cologne, what up? Atlanta in the building with uh, Stan Stan Cover. Yeah. Yeah, shout out to you, man, man. You, man, you, man, known all over the system, man. Yeah, he's known all over the system. <laughs> Got 
Let me see that Fender Holyfield picking up the Bethlehem to if Chucky won't back and see Holyfield bring down from anyone in prison. Let's see Holyfield won and all the school. Yeah, that's what you see in the ring. It's different in real life, brother. It's different in real life. Um, Jeff Bucky, trust me, it's a whole lot different when it's when um. It's a whole lot different when you you go get in that ring. You know, if most of the time, ninety nine point nine percent of the time, if you get in there, you know you're gonna win or lose. Yeah, you know you're gonna get some money. You know you're gonna get rewarded. You know you're gonna be sad if you lose, and you know you had to go back to the drawing board. Yeah, that's a whole different mentality, brother. When you get in the altercation in prison. It ain't just win or lose, and you ain't winning no money, and you ain't getting no praise or nothing. You might die. That changes the stakes of the game, my brother. On day one, baby, can you get a Bethlehem on day one, baby? In prison, you can. You can. You can, because the, you got to understand, it's your day one in there, but it ain't day one of that prison. If it's a brand new prison, that's probably different, but it ain't day one of that prison. So you can't get one, but it's kind of it's kind of tricky too, man. Penitentiary is just tricky because you can go on there and get one, but it's on day one, but you got to know somebody. And then if you don't know nobody, you got to ask yourself, well, if I find out who got them or who's selling them and I go get one and I'm new on here and I don't know nobody, then he might go tell people that I came and, and got the Bethlehem from. I just bought the Bethlehem from. So now everybody on the compound that he might let that know, let that be known to is looking at you like, what you just coming on here getting that for? Who you got to be for somebody on here? You put everybody on alert. You put it, it's just an awkward situation. Then if you go on the compound and you know somebody and you go holler at them and you understand that the bars understood, they're going to keep your business, your business. That's different. But you can create a beef just like that alone coming on a new compound trying to get the Bethlehem from somebody you don't know nobody. They like, who is this joker? What are he trying to do? Who he got to be? It's just going to raise too many questions. So, yeah, it's tricky, man. It's a, lot of, it's a lot of politics with prison, man. There's a lot of rules that people don't understand that, you know, might save your life. So, yeah, it's possible, though, very possible. It's something on every compound. You can lay flat and believe that. <laughs> every compound. They never get rid of them. The more they find, the more dudes are make. The more they uh, stop where they get it from, the more different places they'll find and different things they'll find to make it from. <laughs> Chocolate ain't one of your funky rollers in your draw dresser. Well, I'll be. <laughs> Think you think Canelo Duck and Benavidez? He, he lay flat and believe that. If, if, if he ducking them just as just as often as uh sweet pea duck punches. <laughs> yeah, he he, he don't wanna fight Benavidez. He don't wanna fight Benavidez. He don't wanna fight. Anytime somebody tell you, give me two hundred million dollars to do something, then they tell you right there that I don't wanna do it. Tell you, I don't want to do it, man. Yeah, I had that big, that was my first jump, uh, Stans. That was my first jump, man, that big Rambo jump, boy. And I was ready for whoever, whatever, whatever. Yes, indeed. Made me feel, whoo, is Vietnamese Tony still locked up? Yeah, I told you, I just uh, Heard from Vietnamese Tony not long ago, man. He up there at Red Onion, man. Shout out to them boys up there at Red Onion that's protesting and putting their life on the line, man. And, um, you know, they on a hunger strike, man, because they being treated so bad, man. They on hunger strikes up there trying to get some attention to what's going on up there, trying to, you know, get some better conditions, man, trying to be treated better, man. So, yeah, shout out to them brothers up there, man. That's life or death right there, too. When you go on hunger strike, when you protest, and you know, anytime somebody willing to put their life on the line to protest, then just imagine how bad the conditions are that they're protesting about. Imagine that, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to them warriors out there 
at Red Onion making a stand, man, just to try to make things better. You know, they sacrifice it even if they don't um, reap the benefits of it. The people that's coming behind them might reap the benefits of it. Yeah, 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 you have to be different to cut into a man's flesh. It's different from shooting a man. It's more personal. You don't believe that. That's what I'm trying to tell you, man. This ain't like out here in the street, somebody mad and, you know, temples overflow and, you know, cooler heads don't prevail and somebody get mad and then they go off in motion and pull a gun out and pull the trigger. It's over. If you have to go at somebody mono and mono man to man with that thing in your hand you know exactly what you're doing every moment and every second that you're doing it so it's different you know and the risk of you know failure or retaliation is imminent it ain't like you shoot somebody from right here across the street if you do it ain't like he can run and come charge you or pose any threat to you if you run up on somebody with that thing in your hand and you start doing whatever you're doing, that person is going to fight back. That person that might have the capability of taking it away from you and ending you. All types of things. There's too many different scenarios. It's just a different situation. And a lot of people ain't, um, you know, they're not willing to go that far. And I don't blame them. It's a savage act. It's a savage uh it's a savage act, man. It's a savage um, environment. But it's the way of survival in that environment. 46 likes, 43 watching. Great work. Hmm. Yeah, there's some people came and left, though, Lady VV. But thank you. I appreciate everybody who watching, everybody who hit the like button. For sure. We got my main man in here. We got nephew up in here. Hype boy Whoppers in the building. Yeah, Tim. Waiting on you. Waiting on you, nephew. What's happening? Hype boy Wop in the building, y'all. If you know, you know. I don't, I don't know who would back down from anything, Jeff. Boy, they tell you in that situation. The mouth can say anything. Anybody can tell you, I stand up to this. I do this. I do this. Yeah, because you ain't in that situation. I seen a many, many men say a many things until that moment of truth was there. I told you, man. What up? What up? Wop? You know, I'm trying to tell them, Wop. Everybody a soldier. Tell it's time for woke. Everybody a soldier until it's time for war. So the mouth say anything. What are you going to do at that moment? That's what I believe, what I see at that moment. Everybody a soldier until it's time for war. I think I got a dude to get a membership. It's under my comments from yesterday video. Okay, kid, dokie. All right, Dre Day. Shout out to you, champ. I appreciate you. Membership video coming soon, too. If I get to it today, I'll, I'll make it today. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all stay tuned to the Michael Kaya show, too. I might be on there this week, sometime this week. I don't know, this week I almost gone. Mike, Mike, Mike invited me on doing the talk a -thon. This week, so I might be at the end or I might be on there next week. But you know, when Mike call, you know, I got to pull up. You know, I got to pull up. So, shout out to uh, uh, Straya, Straya Black Funny over there. Shout out to uh, Katie Funny AF over there. And shout out to the King of Venice Beach, Michael Kaya over there. Y'all know that's like one of my second homes over there, the Michael Kaya Morning Show. Funniest man on the planet. The month. Easily can tell, yeah, you know what I'm saying. The more easily can tell a lie, a lie. the accent's gonna show the heart. Talk to him, talk to him. Why they don't know, they don't know, they don't be knowing. Man, if you went by what somebody said out their mouth, man, I know more killers than you know, uh, um, people. <laughs> 
if you went by what the mom said, I know more killer than you done seen people on TV. Yeah, everybody kill them. You know, tell it's time to kill them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've seen Joe. Ah, I, 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 I promise you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I seen all that. And 10 minutes later, that same person be like, oh, please. Oh, no. My old man, my old say anything. What you gonna do when they come for you? <laughs> That's a different thing right there, dog. That's a different thing right there. Yeah. What you gonna do when they come for you? Oh yeah, yeah, especially when they behind them doors, Lewis Walker. Yeah, that's them, that's them uh, that's them sale go gorillas. Them sale gangsters, they get behind that door, boy. I kill you, I kill your mama, I kill your kids, I I kill everything, I kill your dreams, I yeah. Then the doors open and say, huh? I was just playing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that dog behind that fence, boy. That dog behind that fence, boy. A chihuahua behind that fence is uh, uh, a skate. <laughs> Open the gate. They say, <laughs> you know, <laughs> a different ball game, man. A different ball game. <laughs> Tell them again, Wow. <laughs> That's a quote of the day, Wow. That's a quote of the morning. Why say dudes? Well, I said, dudes ain't going to kill a fly if it's laying on their favorite meal. <laughs> Quote of the day, nephew. <laughs> yeah, I know that's right. <laughs> dude. yeah, some dudes be barking so loud, man. They ain't going to kill a fly, man, if it's laying on their favorite meal, dog. <laughs> Shoot, fly. Shoot, shoot. Go on now. Get on. Get on. I'm telling you, you better get on now. I'm going to go get the fly swat. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Nigga B, I'm going to go get, I'm, I'm, you stay on my, I'm going to go get this fly swat. I'm going to get it. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to get it. You better go. <laughs> hey, look. Even if Fly know you be snatching, because he leave, but he come back. <laughs> he leave. He come back. Yeah. Yeah, man. Don't get caught up on the mouth, man. Mouth say everything. Solitude, no mercy salute this morning. <laughs> I'm going to spray that raid on you. I'm going to put that raid on you. <laughs> Oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> hey, Simo, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna do nothing, man. I ain't gonna do nothing, man. It sound good, though. They sound good. They sound convincing. They sound like killers. I'm telling you, I know a lot of them, man. They sound like killers, man. But when that, when that smoke come, nah, not so much. Not so much, Sam. So, Anyway, man, we all peaceful over here now, man. We try to get to the, the good part, man, the living part, man. The, you know, we don't be in that life no more. We both agree. Oh, yes, yeah, they decide to go to war. It will be some, you know, be it, yeah, man. That's what you was laughing, man, when you in the belly of the beast, man, and things get dangerous, man. It's life on the line. <laughs> yeah, that's what you used to have while. Yeah, it's good, here, man. You, you, you can have the food, man. Or they'll say, I ain't eating it, man. The fly been on me, man. So essentially, they ended up giving the food up to the fly. You know, I ain't gonna eat it. I throw it away. The fly done been on it, you know? So the fly won, you know? Fly won. Fly beat your, your, your favorite killer. You understand? He couldn't even kill a fly. Took a whole meal from him. Yeah, don't matter what the meal calls, don't matter what. Now, nah, flies been on it, throw it away. Yeah. 
It sure is crazy. And you said somebody out there this morning, person in t-shirt and shorts, early this morning, and cold out there, he probably on that fat. He on that fat. He on that fat now. He on that fat now, bro. They on that. They on that. That crazy. I call it that crazy. Yeah, brother, them brothers and brothers, man. That's a that's a heck of a fight right there. I pray for them jokers, man. I see them out here. They out here like that too, and they ain't even. It's not even. It's not even like big city where they got all that stuff like that out there, like y'all person. But it's yeah, it's out here too. That stuff everywhere, man. It's so sad, man. That rocket. That what they call it. That rocket. That's that's what I'm saying, man. Yeah. That's sad, man. Glad you all been. It was hell in there. And it's good. We've been listening about the past. Never go back. That's what you do it for, solitude, no mercy. That's what I be telling people, man. People be saying, man, you got to forget all that bad stuff, man. Put that stuff behind you. That's how you get lost in the sauce and turn around and forget how bad it really was in there. And you start slipping. And you start doing things without worried about being back in there. That's not, nah, nah, nah. I remember. I remember. Yeah, I remember every second. Every second. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know more parts of it at all. Yeah. None of it. Yeah, they should, person. They should ban that stuff. They should. Look at the laws and stuff they came up with crack. You know? Look at that gazillion million man years they gave out to people that they was catching with crack. You got this fentanyl out here killing people every day. Every day. It's crazy. I don't even want to talk about that, man. Think about it, man. But, you know... Prayers up for all the all the brothers and sisters, the kings and queens that's in that that drug battle, man. That fight for their life, man. Pray for them, man. Pray for them. If you can help them, help them in any way you can. Especially if somebody you know and love, man. Because it's it, it make no mistake about it. It's a battle, man. It's a real life, life and death battle too. Life and death battle. But if they breathing, you still got a chance to help, them, man. So even if it's just some kind words or some encouragement or something. But give it a shot. Give it a shot, man. Yeah. Don't nothing be the tribe but a fake, man. So, anyway, man, we've been here this morning. I got things to do this morning. I got to get to it, man. Try to get y'all something up on camera today, man. Be love to everybody who watched the video last night. If you ain't watch it, go back and watch it. If you did watch it and didn't like it, make a comment on it. Go back and do that. Yeah, because we trying to grow this thing. We on the grind in 2024. You know, this train going to keep on rolling. I hope y'all stay on it because it's going to keep on rolling. You understand? So get aboard. Come aboard. Join the train. Tell somebody. Bring somebody with you. We got some more seats So You know what I'm saying? We got some more seats So So bring it with you. You know. Blessings. 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 Yeah. Blessings to you, Nikki B. I know. I know the count. Blessings, blessings, sister, blessings, queens. We know, you know, you say, see, that's a classic example right there. So so that fentanyl has already affected TBP family. You know, Nikki B just said it, you know, it claimed her son life. So that's something, man, I'm telling you, man, that's something we all should speak up against. That's something we all should, you know, be mindful of or the people that's around us and the people that we love that's battling that battle, man. Try to help them if you can, man. And you may can't, but at least give it a try. You know what I'm saying? You may can't help. You know, they may be, you know, unhelpable in their mind. But you never know what might reach somebody's mind, what might spark them to say, oh man, you know, you never know, man. But it's 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 a it's a heck of a disease, dog. It's a heck of a disease. And that's what I look at it as because it, it becomes in their mind that it's bigger than them and they can't stop. They can't stop. So, you know, pray for them, man. But anyway, like I said, man, I'll see y'all later. Hopefully, I hopefully I have a video up this evening. And um, you know, y'all stay tuned, man. We doing we doing some more stuff this year. We work merch, books, meeting greets, all of that. Let's go. Let's get it. We out here. TBP Nation, stand up, big love, salute, man. We out here.
Peace.